Hello and welcome. In this bonus video, I'll show you the fast way to set up a WX Widgets project in Visual Studio. This is a follow up to my WX Widgets installation video. That video covers downloading and building WX Widgets from source. I also showed you how to create a C project that links to WX Widgets. Setting up the project required a lot of steps so it would be quite annoying to do every time. Thankfully, there is a faster way that will do almost every step for you automatically. In order for this to work, you must have built the source code in all the configurations you plan to use. So if you haven't done that yet, go back to the installation video and take care of it now. With that being said, let's create a WX Widgets project the fast way. Open up Visual Studio and create a new project. Make sure the language is set to C++, then choose the empty project template. Call the project whatever you want and choose a location for it. In my installation video, we handled all the project settings manually. This time, we will add a property sheet instead. To do that, we need to open the Property Manager. In this version of Visual Studio, you can find it under View, Other Windows, and then Property Manager. Inside this window, right-click on your project and choose Add Existing Property Sheet. Next, navigate to the WX Widgets folder on your computer and then choose this file called wxwidgets.props. The property sheet we just added contains the required settings for a WX Widgets project. It has taken care of almost everything we did manually in the installation video. Unfortunately, there is one thing the property sheet cannot do for us. We have to open the Solution Explorer, right-click on the project and go to Properties. Make sure that configuration is set to all configurations and platform is set to all platforms. Then expand linker and go to system. Here we must change the subsystem from console to windows. And that's it. Now our project is set up correctly with WX widgets. To show you that it works, I'll add a C++ file. and paste this little test program, which you can find in the description. When you run it, you should see this. Thank you for watching.